Hey guys, so I'm not really sure how to start this video off because once again, it's a video I don't want to be doing. As you can tell by the title, one of my gerbils passed away. It was Waffles, who is the gray gerbil out of Chicken and Waffles. She actually passed away a while ago now. I just wasn't ready to film anything. I wanted to wait a little while until I was able to process everything. Also, when a social animal passes away, there's a lot more to think about than when just like a single, like a hamster passes away. Because as you know, Waffles was in here with Chicken. And in general, gerbils should always live in pairs, so I wanted to figure out exactly what I was going to do with chicken before I made a video because I know a lot of you are going to be asking. And so that took some time just so I could evaluate chicken and watch her behavior and see what was going to be best for her. So today I'm going to go over everything that's going to be happening with chicken and I will do a cage tour and show you guys her at the end since you guys haven't seen her in a long time. So many of you have been asking about my gerbils recently and I was planning on doing a video and then at the end end of last year I came in to check on all the pets and unfortunately Waffles had unexpectedly passed away. I did get my pair of gerbils in August of 2017 so they are over two and a half years old now. This is my first time owning gerbils but according to all the research I've done on average they live about three to four years. A lot of gerbils do tend to lean more towards the three year mark. Like I said Waffles was two and a half so she wasn't super old but they are getting up there in age. She hadn't shown any signs of sickness or illness beforehand. Her and chicken were having little tuffles which is really common especially in female gerbils. It wasn't to the point where I thought I needed to separate them and she didn't have any wounds or anything when I checked her out once she passed away. I did do a thorough examination and she didn't have any bite marks or anything like that so it wasn't chicken that did anything. So I'm not sure if it was just old age, poor breeding, who knows, a mix of things but chicken is still doing very well but unfortunately like I said waffles has passed away. So in this video I just want to discuss what I've decided to do with chicken because like I said gerbils should generally live in pairs so when a social animal passes away and leaves another all by itself it does cause a pretty big issue and you have to figure out what would be best for your pet. This is the first time I've had to deal with it because this is the first time I've had gerbils which is why I did delay this video a little bit. Along with letting me process everything I really wanted to watch chicken so I could make the best decision for not just me but for her also. So when Waffles passed away I did have a few different options for chicken. Before I go into those I will just say I have decided to keep chicken as a single gerbil. I am going to explain all my reasoning behind this. I'm sure some of you will disagree because gerbils generally like I said they shouldn't live alone. But just based on the research I've done and my observation of chicken and how she's behaving this is the option that I think is going to be best for her. So I have decided to keep her alone but there are a few different options that I considered. The first option I had was trying to pair chicken with another female gerbil. The reason I decided Decided against this is because like I said chicken is over two and a half years old so she could have some time left but also she is getting in that senior stage of her life and female gerbils can be extremely hard to pair. They're usually not quite as easy to pair as male gerbils and chicken was the dominant gerbil in my pair. Like I said before waffles passed away they were bickering a little bit and it was all because of chicken. She was the dominant gerbil. She was the one starting the little fights and for that reason I didn't think it would be good at all to try to pair a new New female gerbil with her. I would want to try to pair her with a young gerbil but since chicken is so dominant and she was already showing that dominance towards waffles who she'd been with since she was a baby I didn't think that was going to be a great idea and I didn't think it would be best for her in the long run. Also when I was researching I was surprised that a lot of people will actually pair an older gerbil with a male gerbil. Since she is over two and a half years old she should be menopausal which means if I put a young male gerbil in with her she shouldn't be able to get pregnant and have babies. So I did think of that option because that does seem like a pretty good option but honestly just the risk of her getting pregnant wasn't worth it to me. She should be menopausal you know she shouldn't be able to have babies but there's always that what if in the back of your mind and since I don't have that experience with gerbils and I wasn't positive that's not something I wanted to risk for her health. I wouldn't want her trying to have babies when she was this old because I don't know how it would go. Also I don't want to breed my gerbils that's something I am not prepared for at all so I decided not to pair her with a male gerbil. So these definitely were options that I decided right away. 
while I was doing my research on what I thought would be best, I was observing her because like I said, she was a very dominant gerbil to begin with and a lot of times when a dominant gerbil passes, the other gerbil can get really depressed and you'll probably see that in their behavior. They could stop eating as much or they might not be as active and just kind of sit in their cage. But since Chicken was the dominant one, I decided just to watch her behavior and literally nothing has changed at all. She's still eating great. She always comes out when I come in to feed her. I'm not sure if she's out right now, probably not since the light is on. But she's eating really well. She always comes out to say hi. She doesn't have a wheel in her cage right now, which you'll see. That's because neither of my gerbils have used their wheel in probably over six months since they are getting older. They tend to spend almost all their time down in their burrows anyway. So she is a lot less active than she was beforehand. But that was just her and Waffles aging. I haven't noticed any changes in her behavior since Waffles passed. So because of that reason, I feel like she's doing okay on her own. And that's why I decided not to risk getting a male gerbil or a female gerbil gerbil and putting her or that new gerbil through the stress of trying to bond them. I'm just going to let her live out the rest of her life as a single gerbil. So that is my reasoning for keeping her alone. Hopefully you guys understand it. Hopefully I did a decent job of explaining why I thought that was the best route for me and chicken. So now I'm going to go ahead and show you guys her cage really quick. She is still in a 40 gallon breeder. I know it usually doesn't look that big on camera for some reason. You might remember that when I had them both I had the wire topper on here because that's when they were both using their wheel still. Since chicken isn't using a wheel, I decided to take the topper off and just give her the 40 gallon. I still need to put some clips on here so she can't get out. I did just have heavy books and stuff set on the top for now, but since I'm filming, I took it off since I'm in here. But I want to be safe just to make sure she doesn't escape. So that will be secured once again after I'm done filming. But for now, let's go ahead and take a look at chicken and her enclosure. All right, so here is her cage. Like I said, it's a 40 gallon breeder. It just has this lid on top that bends in half. I got this at Petco. I always get a lot of questions. Her bedding right now is just a mess. It's a mixture of a lot of different bags. I had a lot of partial bags of bedding. So I dumped them all in here. A lot of it is Care Fresh. There's some of the colorful Care Fresh. Then there's some random orange Care Fresh. And then there's also a little bit of the birthday cake clean and cozy. So I did give her a nice layer of bedding because she does spend most of her time in the burrows. I actually think she made a burrow right under there. Hopefully she'll come out when she hears me, but I'll go ahead and open this up. So here's her cage. This is something I got quite a while ago. This is a new toy by Oxbow. It was at my local pet store. They came out with a whole new line of stuff. I think PetSmart has some of it now. You're supposed to actually hang this on a wire cage, but since I don't have a wire cage, I just have it laid in here so she can chew on it. It gives her a lot of different textures. I have noticed she's not near as big of a chewer as she used to be. Both her and Waffles had really calmed down with their chewing. And just overall, she is showing her age. She's not near as active, like I said, or using a wheel. But I don't know if she's actually going to come out of her burrows because I did already feed her today, so she has no reason to say hi. But back here is a cute little boat. I got this at PetSmart recently. It's one of their newer items. So this is just like a natural wood boat. There's a lot of bedding on here, so it looks like she's been up checking that out. Over here, is a little tunnel that I put going down so she could make that into a burrow. Just a bendy bridge like always. A little natural chew in the back. And then over here is her sand bath. This is what she mainly uses to go to the bathroom. So it makes cleaning the cage really easy because I can just clean out this sand. And then up front is the water bottle. She doesn't have a food dish because I do just scatter feed. I find that works best for gerbils. Hopefully she'll come out in a little bit and I'll get some footage of her to put in now so you guys can at least see chicken. She does look great still. She's doing really well. She's very cute, but this is what her cage currently looks like.
little cage to her chicken and how she's doing now. Like I said, she is going to be living out the rest of her life as a single gerbil, but based on her behavior and the research I've done, I do think that's going to be an okay option for her. I would never suggest ever going out and just buying a single gerbil. This video is definitely not saying, yeah, single gerbil is fine. Please go buy a baby one and keep it by itself. Definitely not. But in this situation, I do think that's what's going to be best for both of us. I know this video started off kind of rough because Waffles isn't with us, but a lot of you have been asking about my gerbils. So hopefully you guys enjoyed seeing a little update just on chicken and her cage. If you did, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe down below if you haven't already, and I will see you guys next time.